Hi, today I'm going to show you how to change out the a bad speaker in an EV3 brain. Uh, I have here an EV3 brain where it doesn't work. I'm going to turn it off um, and it doesn't make a sound, right? So the brain is dead. Uh, basically, I have a bunch of these brains that have started to um, uh, need replacing as far as the speaker. They've got dead speakers in them and I have to replace them. I have about five in my classroom. So uh, the speakers themselves look like this, right? Uh, you can see kind of that brown spot that's right there. That brown spot is, uh, you know, something has happened. I've got a bunch of these. And in fact, I've got two just sitting right here. And I've replaced a lot of them uh, successfully. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. I got these from a website called Parts Express. Uh, it took me five, uh, a little bit of time to find them. Uh, there are Dayton Audio micro speakers. Um, they're basically $349 a piece, unless you buy more than 10. 10, it's $299 a piece. And I also uh, bought 10 of them, and it cost me about $39. So, you know, it's about $4 to replace uh, if you get about 10 of them. Obviously, more if you get less, right? Uh, and I will put the link in the description so that you can find this. All right, so I've taken this off. Basically, the first thing you need to do is take the battery off of the back. That'll be the first thing that you're going to do. And then what you're going to do is remove the four set screws. So there's one, two, three, four set screws that you have to remove. Um, these four set screws can be uh, Phillips or they might be this pesky little star one. Uh, I've had a couple actually that are stars. Um, not very many are the star type, but you may find them. So make sure you're looking ahead of time because uh, your brain may have that. All right, so first let's remove the screws out of this thing. All right. Now, when you're about to take the brain out, very important that the faceplate, that's the part with the buttons on it, that with the faceplate, you want it facing downwards. And the reason is there's some parts that are in the top of the face, in the faceplate itself that can come out, little plastic parts that are the buttons. Uh, in order to make sure they don't come out, have it facing downwards, all right? So then you just kind of slowly rock it. It usually comes out pretty nicely, and then that's what it looks like. All right, uh, those are the little parts that will come out. Now, listen, they can come out, but if they do, it's not like you can't put them back in there. It's just a big pain in the butt. Okay. All right. So as I look at this, right, and I'm going to turn this over, this is where the speaker is. So the speaker is right here on the side, and you'll notice, if I get a little closer here, you'll see it's got that burn pattern that's happened with the speaker. So obviously the speaker is out, right? So basically you are going to need um, a soldering iron, which I have here, because we're gonna unsolder this, all right? So the speaker that is actually gonna be put in is this, right? That's the Dayton Audio Micro Speaker. You can see that it is considerably thinner than this and a little bit smaller as well, but they do have the same rating, which is 16 ohms and 0.25 watts, all right? So they are the same speaker. So basically what I'm gonna do is put this in here. So the first thing you need to do is take this out, uh, this, the bad speaker. It's pretty easy. Uh, there's a little sticker that's in there um, that oh, kind of holds it in place. Uh, it's very easily uh, taken out. So basically there it is. And then you have this little uh, sticker that's on the outside and you can just peel it off. I actually use this sticker. So you wanna you know, get in there. I got my nails on it. I'm gonna take this off. So it's this little sticker square that's kind of spongy, and I use it uh, to get it back into uh, and, and let it sit inside because this one, like I said, is a little tiny, okay? All right, so step number one is, right, is get your wires kind of set, make sure you know where you are, right? On this, it sets up perfectly as uh, negative is here and positive is on the right hand side okay as you look here so it's actually pretty easy to put this in so step number one is go in and release the solder that we have on this so all I'm gonna do is touch the soldering iron on here right and pop it off and the next one and pop it off and then I have my speaker 
All right. All right. So basically what I'm going to do now is put in the other speaker, which is pretty easy. And the nice thing about this particular speaker that you see here is it already comes with solder on there. So you don't need to, you know, have a spool of spot solder around. It is all ready to go. All right. So basically it's going to sit in here just like this, right? And basically as it sits, if you get your wires nice and lined up, you're just going to then put the wires on here, right? So I am going to do the positive one first. So I'm just going to hold it on there until it gets going. Okay. Here's the first one. Uh, then I'm going to get the second one on there. I'm just going to put the wire. Let me bend this a little bit so we can get this in there at a nice easy angle for me. All right, just like this. Just want to make sure that the wires are uh, covered by the solder and they're not as a loose connection. All right, I'm not liking that one so much. So let me try and reseat it in there. Okay, all right, ready to go. Just a little bit, yeah, it doesn't want to come off, which is good, all right? And it is ready to roll. That's as simple as it is, it's on there. So now usually what I do is I use the little sticker part, which is here. Uh, it's basically gonna go like this, right? We're gonna move the wires off to the side and then we're just gonna put the speaker in there. I mean, literally you could just leave it like that and you're ready to go. But I put the little sticker on the bottom of this, just like that, all right? And um, I'll put it inside the little cavity that's down there, just like that, right? And then I put it in there and then it like sticks on the little sticker, right? It's ready to go. It's not gonna come out. It'll move a little bit when things are going, right? But I'm ready to roll. Okay, so next step is put this back on. So again, make sure that the face plate is down, right? And then you're going to put it back in, right? Make sure everything is lined up and put it right back on top like that. Uh, the next step is to put all the set screws inside. All right, so let me get that going really quick. All right, now we're back, ready to go, right? So we're going to put this inside of the brain, right? Put the battery back, boom, ready to roll. And then we turn it on, all right? And hopefully this works. So again, right, uh, it's not very difficult in order to exchange these brains uh, with new uh, speakers, but uh, it's actually pretty painless and pretty easy to do, all right? So we'll wait a little bit while it gets going and you'll hear it turn on. Of course, we know that brains always take a long time in order to get going. Just like that, and it works, all right? Well, I hope this video helps. Uh, I know that I had some trouble getting Lego to cooperate with it, but they, they wouldn't, so I had to go out on my own and find this, and I didn't find any resources on the internet, so I set this up for you, so uh, I hope that you're able to uh, get this issue solved. All right, well, thanks.